Joining me is Wendy James, who's the Admissions Manager at London Metropolitan University, and Sharon Walpole of the website Not Going to Uni. Thanks for coming in. First of all, uh, Wendy James, um, is it still worth going to university? I think it is. I think it can add to people's uh, career opportunities, but also give them the social aspect of going to university. Obviously, university perhaps isn't for everyone. We acknowledge that. But uh, the benefits that you can gain from uh, living away from home, perhaps, or uh, doing a subject that you really care about passionately can help people grow as individuals. It's getting pretty expensive, though, isn't it? Fees already, tuition fees, £27,000, probably going to go up. Maintenance grants have been axed next year. You know, it's, it's getting expensive. It can be expensive, um, and however, lots of universities uh, award bursaries to people who are on uh, full maintenance grants, for example, to help with the cost of going to university. Okay, well, Sharon Walpole, you're from the website Not Going to Uni. That kind of gives the game away a bit. I imagine you would say people don't have to go to university. Um, well, first of all, I would establish we're not anti-uni, but I would say that um, there's an awful lot of pressure with A-level results day for young people to have to make a decision, and it seems to be very much centred on whether or not they go to university uh, by their grades. But there are a vast amount of very real options that are out there that they can consider that uh, broadens their horizons, that it can take the pressure off the day. So, so what sort of options, for instance? Well, you could easily um, start with looking at apprenticeships. And not going to uni.co.uk has a huge amount of apprenticeships in lots of different industries, um, particularly strong in things like engineering and accountancy, where you can go straight in, get a job with an organization, you do get a qualification out of it, you earn while you learn, you're earning some money, and you can even go on to a higher apprenticeships, which usually works with the university, and get a degree later on. OK. Um Wendy, there'll be people watching this programme tonight who may be a bit disappointed with what they got in terms of where they were hoping to go. Is that the end of the road for them? What would you say to them? Absolutely not. First to remember, they're not alone. Last year, over 60,000 students secured a place through clearing. Uh, our advice that we've been giving out to people that have been calling London Met today is to try and get along to one of the open days. We'll have an open day on Saturday. Go along, do your research, find out what that university and that degree can offer them, Work placements are important, work modules, just to help them, you know, pick the right course. So research. Do people have to move fast, though, because presumably places are being filled up all the time? Some places on popular courses and, and you know, some universities, Russell Group universities, will have limited number of places that probably s were snapped up first thing this morning. But once the media has all calmed down from today, it's important to know that there will still be have places at universities so they can just keep going on UCAS.com, researching, visiting universities. OK, and Sharon, obviously, if people were hoping to go to university, maybe it's not quite worked out, as you were saying. Maybe you can go a bit further. There are other options. There are other options, and uh, I echo what you said about doing research. One of the tough problems that young people have today is that the careers advice has been pretty much decimated for young people, and that's for their parents as well, who were trying to make the right decision, whatever they may be. And, you know, whilst not going to uni might not be going to you might not be the right answer, um, finding out and doing your research and your homework is the best thing to do.